Hey guys welcome back, here are the top tips and tricks, which will help you surprise your opponents while playing PUBG Mobile, thus getting more kills and increasing your chances of victory. Land in hot places. Depending on the plane route and which hot drop is the nearest, always try to land in either Novorepnoye, Military Base, Pachinki or Jorgopal. When there are many players in one place, there is usually more loot. After leaving the landing area for the next town, you should have around 5 to 10 kills. Playing mind games. Playing mind games is the oldest trick in the book for gamers. But for a game as popular as PUBG, which is seeing a huge amount of player inflow, you may just be lucky enough to never be paired with the pros. PUBG players have a tendency to run towards the action and gain the most amount of kills, even if it means getting killed and and not winning. So you can take an advantage of this by turning on your microphone for the whole battlefield instead only for your team, after you get a good vantage point with a good gun, you will be able to get kills by the numbers. After your microphone is open for all, you can start shouting your location, not the vantage point of course, but where you have your crosshair pointed at, and that it has a lot of players fighting and you need backup. Keep uttering false information about your location, and if some of your opponents have their mic turned on for all, might take your bluff seriously and want to verify its authenticity. If that happens, you can score a lot more kills. Players will definitely cry foul if you use this tactic, but in the end, they will not be the ones winning the game. Always have a vehicle and move fast. I can't stress it enough how important time is. The difficult part is not killing enemies, but finding enough enemies before the game has ended. By using vehicles, you'll travel much faster, and they also protect you from getting shot. Sitting in the back seat of a closed-top vehicle. We all have watched a movie in which a cop stakes out in a parked car for a criminal to make a mistake. In Pub Mobile, when you are sitting in the driver's seat of a car, there is a driver's symbol above your car to tell other players that it is being driven by someone. You can simply find a good vantage point where you can stake out other players, like the highway outside Pachinki. Once you have parked your car, go take up the back seat, so that players think the car is empty and run towards it to use it. However, when they are close enough you are there to jump them. For this trick to work, you have to keep in mind that it must be a closed top car, where you will be spotted sitting alone in the back seat by players miles away. Get the airdrops. If you can't find enemies, go for a nearby airdrop. Everyone wants an arm and level 3 armor, so if an airdrop is coming, always go for it. The chances are high that the enemy squads will want it too. Choosing your outfit carefully. This game is not a fashion parade. Smart dressing in pub is all about adapting to your surroundings. Everyone likes the idea of keeping their looks sleek, however, that isn't always the best idea in pub. According to the map you select and the area that you select to land in, you should choose the best color coordinated outfit that helps you blend into the background. So even when you are freely roaming around in the open, you will be very hard to spot. This will lead to other players getting to know your location a bit too late when you have a perfect aim and start firing at them. Even if one or two players spot you roaming around and start shooting, you just need to start running in a zigzag pattern. That will make you avoid the bullets and after some time again get lost in the background. Some good examples would be a pioneer shirt, padded camo jacket, grey-green combat pants, leather gloves, and high-top trainers for the Arangel map, and for the Miramar map, players can opt for a bloody tank top, khaki combat pants, tan gloves, brown high-top trainers, or just roam around naked, seriously. An exception that will work in all pub maps as camouflage is the ghillie suit, which is only available in the crate drops. Closing doors behind you. This is one habit that parents have been trying to teach their kids for ages, and those who have learned this are already a step ahead of most other players in pub. When a new game starts, all the building have closed doors, to indicate they have never been raided by a player. Players start raiding buildings left and right from the moment they land onto the battlefield, and leave all doors open after or during a raid. A good trick is to close doors behind you once you enter, so you can sit quietly in a building waiting for players to come and raid it, without a clue that it is already occupied. And when they do come, surprise them. Go back and close the door again. Don't waste time on looting. Let the enemies loot for you. Pick a weapon quickly before everyone else and push them. Everyone you kill has at least looted something useful that you'll get. Whether it's a first aid kit, a level 2 vest, an M416 or just ammo, no matter what it's still better than wasting time on looting houses, because you've got yourself some kills in the meantime. 
The main thing to keep in mind for achieving a lot of kills is that you have to stay alive for significantly long enough and keep changing position. Just try to keep a strong position inside the shrinking circle. That way the enemies have to come into you and you've got a stronger chance. Anyway that's it for today's video guys hope you learned something new today and share your thoughts in the comments section. See you guys in the next video.